Welcome to Meek Electronics. iPhone 14 Pro Max stuck on a white screen? You've tried Force Restart? You've plugged it into iTunes? But nothing's working. Maybe you've even seen that crazy lighter trick that's supposed to shock it back to life? In this video, I'll show you what actually works, what's a complete waste of time, and the only real way to fix it, backed by real repairs, not rumors. Stick around till the end, because the final fix is what Apple won't tell you, but it works every time. First, let's talk about two things that actually can fix a white screen on the iPhone 14 Pro Max, but only if you're lucky and the problem is software-based. 1. Force Restart. Press and quickly release volume up. Press and quickly release volume down. Then press and hold the side button until the Apple logo appears. Can take around 20 seconds. This is called a force restart. It's the first thing to try. Quick, harmless, and works if your phone just crashed. Two. Plug into iTunes, Finder, and Update. You should see your device pop up. Straight to the point. Now you'll get the option to update or restore. Try update first. This reinstalls the iOS software without deleting your data. If that fails, you may need to restore, but that will wipe everything. This is context, not previously on context. Let's look at the fix you should never try. Now, let's talk about a so-called fix that's making the rounds on forums and TikTok, and it's absolutely the worst thing you can do. Some say if you scratch off the copper trace on the back of the display and apply a voltage, like from a lighter striker or a wire spark, you can shock the display chip into working again. Sounds cool, right? It's not. Why this is dangerous? It may momentarily make the screen flicker on, but can permanently damage the LCD chip. It may short out other components or the logic board. It could turn a $300 repair into a $1,000 logic board replacement. This might look like it works for a second, but it's not a fix. It's just frying your phone for fun. Don't try it. If the force restart didn't work, if iTunes couldn't update or restore your phone, then let's be real. The problem isn't software, it's hardware. And the only real fix is replacing the screen. Before we start, here's what you'll need. Pentalobe screwdriver, suction tool, plastic opening picks, a spudger, tweezers, heat pad or hair dryer, and of course, a quality replacement screen. Step one, power off the phone and gently heat the edges of the display for about two to three minutes. This softens the adhesive and makes opening safer. Next, use a suction cup near the bottom edge, pull up slightly, and slide a plastic pick along the seam to begin separating the screen. Take your time. The cables are near the right side, so don't yank it open. We're gonna open this like a book from left to right. Now before you do anything else, disconnect the battery. Unscrew the connector shield with your y o o o screwdriver and pop off the battery connector using a plastic spudger. Once the battery's safe, remove the second shield and gently disconnect all display cables. Be patient, these connectors are delicate. With the old screen out, prep your new display. Make sure any dust or protective films are removed, and if your replacement doesn't come with pre-installed seals, apply fresh adhesive around the frame. If your new screen doesn't include the front sensor assembly, you'll need to carefully transfer it over. That includes the earpiece speaker, microphone, and Face ID components. Be extra careful. If you damage this, Face ID will be permanently disabled. Now, reconnect the new screen flex cables first, then the battery. Put back the metal shields and tighten the screws. Make sure everything's snug, but not over-tightened. Close the phone carefully. Start from the left, press down gently, and work around the edges. You should feel it click into place. P, now power it on. And there it is, your iPhone 14 Pro Max is back to life. This is the fix that works every time, and it's not a hack or a gimmick. If your iPhone has a hardware fault, no restart, app, or lighter trick is going to fix it. 
replacing the screen is the only reliable, long-term solution. If you found this helpful, hit that like button. Subscribe for more no-nonsense repairs. And let us know in the comments what other fixes you'd like to see.